So if you think you're making the best beats but you're not getting any sales, probably it's because your beats are too generic or too complex for artists to use. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make beats that will actually inspire artists and that are going to be easier to sell, so let's get into it. So a couple of months ago I uploaded this beat called the Music Box. Beatstars.com it sold about 6 times in less than a week and I started to ask to my artist friends what they thought about it. Almost everyone said that the beat was inspiring thanks to the sounds that I used and that they found easy to write on it. So it's really important to create a vibe in your beats and in this video I want to go for another vibe. So let's start by opening creepy piano that is perfect for this kind of vibe. So let's start with this piano and then we can change later the preset. So I'm just going to select the F minor scale and let's lay down a dark chord progression. Yeah, we can just copy this over and maybe add some variation. Ooh. Yeah, here I just added the note to create some variation. Here I just used a minor chord, here a suspended two chord, and then when they are together, they're going to create a lot of tension. And then I pitch down this C to A sharp, and when you have a chord like this, it's going to sound really dark. And then here I used this chord, that is basically a A sharp minor chord, but if we pitch down this F, it's going to have F as a bass note and we can still use F. Let's find a more interesting preset. Ooh. Let's actually speed it up and I want to try to add some effects on this. So the first thing that I want to add is an EQ of course. Let's add also stereo shaper to make the sound more wide and I use the stereoized 3 preset. Then we can add some reverb. And I want to try to add half time on this. Yeah, that's interesting, that will be simple to rap on, and it already has that horror vibe and I like this. But I want to try to experiment a little bit with this melody, so let's try to render this. And I want to try to reverse it and pitch it up, and we can maintain the same progression by cutting the notes like this, and we can reorder them like this. That's interesting man. Let's try to add some effects also on this, maybe some reverb. I want it to be in the background, maybe a chorus. Yeah, I feel like by adding a bass note it's going to sound really harder. So I will go in my Nova one shot kit and let's use this deep piano. It always works, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's try to pitch everything up to F sharp actually. I feel like this piano has a lot of high end, so I want to remove it a little bit. Yeah. So now it's more in the background. Ooh, pitch up sounds crazy. Okay, so I really like this foundation and I think we can make a really good beat with this. So when you're trying to recreate a vibe, think about what instruments are most common in that vibe. If I think about horror, I think about violins, pianos, wires and all that dark stuff. Also a counter melody with a bell could sound really good on this, so let's go for it. I like this one because it really sounds horror. I want to add something really fast and maybe add a time on this later. Yeah, let's add a time on this. Yeah, I like this. So let's add an EQ. Some reverb. Maybe some delay. Actually, I want to try to flip this too, man. So we can render this and stretch it a lot. Yeah, that's interesting. We need to add some reverb and some delay on this. Okay, I really like this, but I want to add a choir for the intro. So I want to open the Mellotron because we have some really good dark choirs in this. Maybe it's going to open. Let's start with the first one. Ooh. Let's 
Sounds creepy, man. Okay, let's add a beast on this too, man. Yeah. Drop is going to be crazy. Okay, I really like this, but as you can hear, it's starting to sound too complex. So when I get to this point, I like to arrange it a little bit to see if we have a no variation for a full beat. So this is going to be the intro. And then the bell is going to come. Just to make a catchy intro that is going to change. Then the drop needs to be simple, but hard. Yeah. Then we can have this uh, little accent that I made. Then I want to try to render these two together and pitch them down just to create some variation for the verse. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds crazy, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think we have a no variation, but we have also some space to add a violin phrase. So we go in the new kit that I'm making. Yo. Sounds insane. Yeah, we can have this violin phrase on the second part of the hook. I like this violin phrase because it's not that busy and uh, sits in the background and that's perfect for this. So now it's time to add some drums, but before I wanted to share with you some tips to maximize your sales potential. So first of all, make sure to set on the free download option if you're using Beatstars. That's because no one will buy your beats before actually trying to rap on them to see if it's going to sound good. Another important thing is to not spam your channel or videos to other producers because that is just going to confuse the YouTube algorithm and make your videos appear to other producers instead of artists. And and of course producers don't buy beats, right? So I think that's all that's add some crazy drums. Now when you're making this type of beats, you can use uh, classic drums or try to go for more different ones but they need to sound crazy. Sometimes I really like to use this crazy clap. And by the way, I will use the drums from the Nebula Cosmic Drum Kit. And if you like the sound that I used in this video, make sure to check out Nebula because right now it's at a really low price. So if you want, the link is in the description. That's hard. Let's add these ayats. I want to add some rolls on them. But also here, pay attention, don't go crazy with rolls because they are going to make the beat difficult to rap. Yeah, we can just copy this over. And just click all tar to randomize the pen and the velocity. Now it's time for the head. The head is really important to create bumps right before the clap, as always. And maybe we can add another head. This is creating a lot of bumps. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now it's already time for the 808. For the 808, sometimes you want to use something different and sometimes just go for the classic spins. I think I will go with the spins also this time. And here it's important to create a catchy pattern that is going to be bouncy and easy to remember. Let's activate the envelope like this so we can add a pose here. Here we can go crazier at the end. You strip that. Yeah. And now the most important tip is to try to freestyle on your beats. So as you can hear, we have a note space for an artist to open this. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like and comment and check out this video if you want to make the craziest beats.